Good morning and welcome back to another workout with me. For today's workout, we are doing a hit booty routine. We will be going through two rounds. Each round is gonna have four exercises and we're gonna do them for 45 seconds with a 20 second break. So the first round, we run through it and then we get a minute break and then we move on to round two. And they are all different exercises. In total, we are doing eight different exercises. So for round two, I am going to use a booty band just like this. This is the only one I will be using. It is not required, but it really does help take the exercise to the next level and really work those glutes. It's up to you. If you have one, you can use it. If you don't, that's fine. Just ignore when I use that. But let's get into it. First step, we have lunge hops. So for this, you want to jump up and switch your leg position mid-air and land into a lunge. It is okay if you lose your balance. Just keep your core tight, your chest up, slow the movement down and find your way back. I know this one burns, but I really want you to drive your knee down with each movement to make this exercise very effective. Let's go. Next up, we have floor tap jump squats. You're gonna to wanna to jump out into a wide stance squat. Reach your left arm down, touch the floor, and then jump back up with your feet together and alternate to your right hand on the next move. Same old thing, same old thing keeps me around. You're not supposed to be comfortable. It's not supposed to be easy to get the results. And if you, you need to push yourself. So ask yourself, are you giving it your all? It's as simple as it sounds. Hop on the tip of your toes to activate your calves. Don't let your heels touch the ground. We're always on the tips of our toes for this entire movement. Now we're going from a kneel into a squat. So start on your knees, tighten your core, and bring your left leg up to a 90 degree angle. And then bring your right leg up to the same position. You should now be in a deep squat. Lower your left leg back down, and then your right leg back down to starting position. This one really burns your quads, so stay with it. Especially after all those if you wanna come around, Whew, baby, my quads are on fire. Come on, let's get if this. You wanna fuck around, baby, I do. Just wanna be alone with you. Oh, 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 oh. With you. Oh, 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 oh. Now take one minute break. Get some 
water, roll your shoulders out, take a few deep breaths in and out, just relax and set up for a good second round. We will be moving into banded plank kickbacks. So get into a plank position and you're gonna to want to lift one leg up while keeping your core tight and dropping it back down. Repeat with the opposite leg. For this movement, you wanna try and stay as steady as you can, just lifting your legs up and down. If you wanna make this movement a little bit more challenging, you can lower the band down to around your ankles as it will give you a lot more resistance. Focus on keeping your back straight. Don't arch it down as you raise your leg. You want everything to stay in a straight line. Now we're moving on to banded glute bridges. Lay face up on the floor with your knees bent and your feet on the ground. Place your arms by your side and lift your hips off the ground, squeezing your glutes and core until your knees, hips, and shoulders are aligned. And then lower back down to the floor and repeat. This is a nice little break from all the jumping and squatting, but you still have to focus really hard for this one. Pulling up through your glutes, pushing through your heels and up through your glutes. You should really feel this one in your glutes and a bit in your hamstrings. You should really feel this one in your glutes and hamstrings. So really driving through your heels and pulling up through your glutes. Now we're moving into a squat with a toe tap. So get into a squat position and then extend your left leg out straight and back in and repeat with your opposite leg. Keep your core tight. You only want to be moving your leg in and out. The rest of your body should be stationary and very strong. And our last exercise is banded side laying leg raises. So lay on your side and whatever leg is touching the floor, bend it behind you for stability. Either stay laying on the mat or push the upper half of your body off the mat with the support of your arm. Now raise your top leg as far as you can up. Brace your core and don't lean back. Remember what you came here for. Come on, don't give up now. You got this. Thank you for taking time out of your day to move your body. 
Sometimes when things get too challenging and we feel that extreme discomfort, we give up. But I want you to put this in your head right now. If you choose to be comfortable, then you choose to stay the same. I want you to find comfort in the discomfort, knowing that you can do it and knowing that you are stronger than your mind believes in the moment. And when your mind is telling you to stop, that is when I want you to do one more rep, one more squat, whatever it is, just do one more to show that your mind is not in control, you are. And by doing this, you can prove it to yourself that you have what it takes to show up and be there for yourself. I want you to take this motivation into the rest of your day and just be there. Thank you so much for joining me. as this really supports my channel and it encourages me to create more content. Thank you so much. You should be proud of yourself.